I wanted to do an introduction like the ones I used to do where I get to talk to you guys and I first before I say anything I want to say thank you excuse me um, thank you so much for the support that I've been getting whether I've been filming or not I seem to have gained a decent audience it's not I'm not a celebrity by any means but um, it's what really really is the biggest reason for me coming back uh, I have a decent enough audience to continue doing the videos so many of you are now enjoying them more so than before I've been doing YouTube for three years and it took me three years to get four million views and you know a few thousand this five thousand uh, subscribers that's not a lot by other people's you know compared to the big youtubers but to me it is because I, I am not doing this for a living I do this it's a hobby um, I enjoy it uh, I had a personal issue that stopped me for a little bit but I hope to be able to continue doing this at a steady pace this again here is another Arabian obviously look I am so very much like obsessed with their makeup but this again is photography makeup this is or or going out you can go to the club looking like this I would not go out during the day with the amount of makeup that you guys watched me put on um, not that it wouldn't look good it's just you can tell that a person is wearing a lot of makeup and it, it's not a good look especially if you're in your late to mid 40s depending on who you are if you're Cindy Crawford go for it I'm not most of us are not matter of fact no one is um, this is beautiful for taking pictures and so that's why I enjoy doing it so much however if I had an occasion to go out I definitely do this I wouldn't even blink and as you can see there's some glitter there is you know uh, colors blended into each other There's a cut crease I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it and I hope to be able to do another one really really soon let's see how this one goes before I decide I'll be back anyways but what I'm saying as far as in another Arabian look let's see how this one goes and then if not I'll just come back and do the regular, you know, regular everyday makeup that's not Arabian makeup. The regular makeup I was doing before I got so darn obsessed with this type of makeup. I love, love, love this. It's got a gypsyish look to it. It's really fun to do and I'd have absolutely no problem if I had somewhere to go at night wearing this and so again I hope you enjoy please if you did uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you guys next time bye bye okay we have come to the part where I get to tell you everything that you are looking at I'm telling you here that I did my brows off camera before I started filming and the products that I used to do it with and that I prepared my face with that Garnier BB cream. Now I'm going to conceal or rather um, put on my base on my on my uh, lids and I use concealer that is by NYX. I don't really like those creams that are meant for this like the ones that Urban Decay and uh, MAC make they're too expensive and this does the same exact job so this is sort of like my primer and it works really great I won't put on eyeshadow without doing this first it also works great for highlighting the arch in your brow and now I'm taking a small elf a very tiny small elf brush to uh, use the black that was in that Morphe palette and start drafting out and this is drafting out you may find the uh, q-tip and makeup remover 
uh, is something you need to have handy while you're doing this because you could mess up these lines. They don't need to be perfect, but they need to at least be in the right place. And the shape should be right and the same on both eyes. Even though our eyes are different, we may not think so when we're looking in the mirror, but both of our eyes are different. So are your brows. So you may have to paint differently on each eye. Like I have one eye that's way more hooded than the other eye. So I cannot draw the same exact design or lines on both eyes. It has to be different. So that's what I'm doing here. And I know it looks funny right now. This is sort of going to be a double cut crease. There will be um, sort of like a line, which I'm going to... It's not a line. It's going to be... Uh, a strip, I call it a strip, that's going to go above this, it's a colorful one, it's going to be mauve looking, that's going to go up to the tip of my brow and backwards on top of this curve that I have. And I'm also, by doing this, creating a new crease for myself and making my lids bigger. So here in the Morphe palette, I'm going to highlight my brow bone, and those are the two brushes, those are Morphe brushes. I don't know the numbers. They're flat um, synthetic brushes. And I use those for my brows. And that's like a matte white. And then I go ahead and I use the, the white under that as well in a little bit. I'm not doing it now. And then here goes a pinkish color. It's like a really bright light pink. It's not dark. And that's going to start as my transition shade. And then with a small pencil brush and an even smaller one than that, a Morphe one, I'm going to draw over using that bright purple and start blending that line out just a bit. I want mine to stand out. And as you can see, I took mine in to the beginning of my brows. It's a new style that I've seen. I like it a lot. I do have hooded eyes, and if you have hooded eyes, this may not always be a good idea. You may want to stop in the middle of your where your pupil is and just stop there. But I went ahead and I took the first sort of like shade that you see. It goes all the way up to my uh, the beginning of my brow, and then the second, the, the actual cut, does go uh, just a little past the middle and downward. So it's almost like a double cut crease and the only way that I would know how to even describe this is just by letting you watch what I'm doing because it's very hard to describe. And so I'm going over that now with other colors and clean brushes. You want to blend that out as best you can before you get to your lid, which you can see I am using now the Jumbo Pencil by NYX, the Milk to now get into my lid and that's going to serve as my base. That should bring out the colors that I'm using. But I want to mention that I'm under very, very harsh light so it drains the colors. This is re really not even what it looks like in real life. But I tweak that in the pictures so that you guys can see what it actually looks like in real life. So here with that like sherbet color, like orangey. Reminds me of that, that ice cream. Is it Sherbet? I think it's called. Um, I'm going to go into the middle of the lid with that. And then with a small flat Morphe brush and you know, blend that out. I'm going to take a, a, another little fluffy brush and blend it further once I have uh, the colors. There you go. And that's a fluffy Morphe brush. It's a long bristled brush. And then with a pinkish and and then a purple right after that. And that's from another palette. It's uh, the BE Cosmetics palette. It's got 101 different colors. Then at the very, very end goes that black, and that's going to, go to connect the bottom line that I drew and the top one together. It's going to create sort of like a nice, I would say, wing. A really strong wing and I do that all with eyeshadow but I'll go over it later with uh, eyeliner gel then taking a soft that's an elf brush and just blend everything together I'm gonna take those same colors starting with the orange and the pink 
and a small elf pencil brush and blend those into my bottom. The purple just goes on the uh, end half of the bottom lid and then the black with a flat eyeliner brush and that's also by elf. That's a Sephora eyeliner. It's really inky, inky black. It's waterproof and I go on my waterline and also tight line and then I go ahead on the top and paint up there as a base and then I go over that with the e.l.f. Um, gel liner and an e.l.f. eyeliner brush and then an e.l.f. I'm laughing because I'm listening to the Golden Girls and I'm a big fan while I was doing this and of course they're funny so here with the liquid e.l.f. in jet black going over all of those lines and then of course we're going to do that point there in the inner part of the eye the Arabian look and then a double a double line at the end of the eye and then using LA colors um, I believe they're called they start with a D they're not Demi Wispies uh, drama something lashes I'll have to really look at that and put it in the description box. And then with my Maybelline mascara, I go ahead and put that on before I put on my lash. And then with my lash tool, make sure that that's in place. Marry that to your own lashes. I do go over that with another swipe of uh, liquid liner but I did not record that part so if you'll forgive me um, uh, looking at this it's unbelievable how much the lighting does drain the colors because that's so dark in real life but you'll see in the pictures because I get under some real soft lighting to take those pictures and then now I am using this glitter by hard candy and so I glittered all that up and then using the elf primer and now the baby skin by Maybelline to cover my pores and prime and then the cushion uh, uh, makeup or foundation by Lumi actually it's by L'Oreal it's the Lumi L'Oreal cushion palette and I'm using a kabuki brush to push that into my skin which I will later blend with a beauty blender as per usual I wasn't expecting this to go this fast so excuse me if I skip anything but you guys can see here goes my usual heart candies this is our lightest shade it's uh, it says extra light and then with an elf foundation brush it's a real small brush so using that to apply and then of course blending it, blending it out with the beauty blender which is damp it's not really wet it's just really damp and then you can see that I really went out with the highlighting which I don't usually do but so this is photography makeup I went all out and this makes a humongous difference in you know your face being highlighted and contoured it changes the dimensions of your face you can change the shape of your face, you can change the shape of your nose. Uh, by slimming things down, your face becomes, instead of flat looking, more dimensional. So that's the purpose that this really serves. And then I'm using a brown, uh, very creamy crayon that I have, I, and I don't know who makes it. But any type of crayon like this would work the same. And you'll notice I'm using all creamy and liquidy products first. And then I will turn around with all powdery products and go over everything. And then I will set with my usual Bare Minerals. For me, that's the best setting powder I've got. It really softens the face. Um, makes a big, big difference, especially in the pictures. You'll notice it. And here, again, buffing everything in place. And then I'm going to put on cream. I, I showed you the red one first but that was just to show you the one that I'm applying is the one here by I believe I bought that at Sephora and it is by Sephora and it's like a dark pinkish almost reddish 
And then I'm showing you that the same colors are available by L'Oreal, the, their blur lines. And then here's a NYX. Um, that is a highlight that I love to use. It's very, very pretty and very sprinkly, very glittery uh, and shiny. And we all love that. And in the normal places where all that should go, Cupid's bow. And then with this e.l.f. Kabuki brush, I am taking the Bare Minerals, setting my face, and just softening everything. This also will lock your makeup in place. It will not move. Uh, here is a contour kit. And I believe that that is, I bought that at that store that I talked about so much. And they're everywhere now. Um... And then a little small nose one for the nose. So here I'm contouring with a powdery product. And this is by Profusion. The store, uh, the name of the store is Escaping Me Rainbow. There you go, see? And then with my fan brush, I am taking the highlight color out of there and going over my liquidy highlight. That also will set it. I'm going to bronze with the Wet n Wild bronzer kits. And an e.l.f brush. It's like a powder brush. And then with the Artisan, that's like a maroonish red. It's pretty dark, but still, that it's a lot darker in person. And then here with the e.l.f. Uh, highlight pearls, I chose one, and then with a small e.l.f. brush, applied it in all its usual places. So I've highlighted like three times here, powder and liquid. And then here goes your lipstick, and one is really dark, it's almost black, it's like a burgundy black. And then two lip liners, one is by Rimmel, it's the chocolate looking one, it's more like a burgundy. And then the red one is a Milani one, and both lipsticks are by NYX, it's their cream set of lipsticks. And I would recommend these lipsticks, wow, they're great, and they stay in place and they're really creamy and soft. And so I did like a... A, an ombre lip and then go over it with the red. I overdrew just a little bit and you can really tell in the pictures. I do it again off camera. And then here goes all my Ravian garb. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.